Alright guys, we're here with the 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser GXL. Um, now this is a 3.5 litre twin turbo V6 diesel. Uh, it has replaced the V8 diesel that everyone loved. Um, but let me show you quickly around the car. Um, this is a quick review, we'll do a more in-depth one over the next few weeks. Um, but starting at the front, obviously a much bigger, more aggressive grille. Uh, you have your front parking sensors as standard now. Daytime running lights here as well as headlights up here with a now LED for um, both modes. Bonnet has retained this nice curvature that the previous model did and you now notice that this is a flat badge. So this now includes radar cruise control which will adapt to follow the car that's in front of you once set as well as autonomous emergency braking as well um, as one of the new features that the GXL gets. So come around and we'll show you the rest of the car. First things first, alloy wheels. Nothing's really changed. It looks kind of like the 300 GXL, so we won't spend too much time there. Um, they are thinner rubber, and the Toyota engineers, what they um, kind of told us is they've done it for fuel economy reasons. Um, so time will tell whether that pans out that way, but for the moment, it's 8.9 litres per 100 k's for the car, and 227 kilowatts of power out of the diesel engine. As we go inside, the key fob does everything that you need it to do, but the doors also. So it has smart open as well as then smart lock. Um, so it is a nice inclusion. The um, previous GXL did have it, um, so it's great that they've carried over that function. And come around and we'll show you the inside. From the interior, guys, the main difference is obviously that center console in the GXL is substantially better than the previous model. You have a nine inch color display at the top, which does Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Dual zone climate control for the driver and the passenger, as well as air conditioning for the rear. You now have the inclusion of multi-terrain select as well. And what that will allow you to do is it will um, help you once you're in, in low range four wheel drive to engage different driving modes based on the terrain that you're on. Uh, you then have wireless uh, charging as well on the left hand side next to the gear selector. Electronic park brake is now standard versus the old pull up. Um, and you'll have also hold, uh, auto hold as well, so you can take your foot off the brake as long as auto hold is on and it will automatically keep that there for you. Um, center console lid, great thing about it is it goes two ways, so it can open up in either direction uh, for anyone that's using this. Um, and then you also have the auto dimming rear vision mirror, which is now standard in this model. Um, so let, let's go to the back now that we've done the front um, and we'll continue from there. All right, so let's have a look inside. You saw that my seat was all the way back. So legroom is still pretty good. Headroom is still great. And you got aircon vents above you, just like the previous model. Air conditioning controls down the bottom here and two fast charging USB ports, as well as a 12 volt charger. You've got your bottle storage down here, as well as a little pocket for any other snacks that your kids might have. I have used black gloss here, which I don't particularly like because it marks up really easily and it scratches. Uh, but they have used a soft touch um, for the armrest here. This is still quite a hard surface in the GXL, so we'll see the VX and, and Sahara ZX and see if that's any different. And we also have your power window switches here, um, which are roughly in the same spot as the previous model. Um, as I come out, fold this down. It's a simple procedure, and it flicks up like the previous model to get into the rear. Rear legroom is, as you can expect, pretty tight, just like the previous model. Um, and you have the two anchor points on either side for your ISOFIX, as well as three baby seat anchor points in the rear of the seats, uh, like the previous model. Coming across to the rear, you now have parking sensors at the back. Still that cap that covers your tow bar. And at the top, it looks like a split tailgate, but it's actually not. They've gone for a single piece tailgate. A little bit in the air whether, you know, people like it, people don't got down here your 12 volt outlet which the previous model had and then you've got these seats which fold down pretty easily so they drop down and you just push this to get them the whole way once the seat's down. Alright guys so now that you've seen the outside in the back once the seats are flat you do have a little bit of space it does feel a little bit shorter than the previous model so we're not really sure uh, the exact dimensions we'll, we'll test that out in a, another video. Cup holders in the rear as well as a USB fast charger as well for any devices that your kids might be traveling with. Um, so you shouldn't run out of any place in this car to charge any devices with everything that's in here. Um, now that you know what this has and what we think of the GXL and the 300 series, 
make sure you watch our video on the VX and on the Sahara ZX. Um, that will cover what those cars have in terms of differences.